especially them hard headed ones. These are these are my hard headed ones, okay? You know, with your hard headed kids, you gotta go in with different methods for them to, to do what they supposed to. Same thing, same, same thing, you know, same concept. So don't 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 feel like oh uh, you know, it's just not working. They go, no, 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 you gotta be persistent. <laughs> Hey, Pompon Gang, welcome back to the Pompon Sisters YouTube channel. My name is Shantae, and I'm the mother of the three beautiful Pompon Sisters, and welcome back. And if you are new, hey, how you doing? And just to give you a rundown, we're awesome. Go ahead and just subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos as well. I am coming on here with my hair picked out and ready to go because I want to do a updated on how I achieve my slick down look slash somewhat of a finger wave when I am oh. my Jada Pickett look. That's what I like to call it, my Jada Pickett 90s throwback look. Just to give a little bit of background, I recently did a big chop back in December, beginning of January, somewhere around that. It was like late December. Um, I did a big chop where I went from bra strap blend hair and decided to cut it all off. <laughs> I did and it was for health reasons so it was kind of a struggle for me to kind of accept it and to go through with it definitely was not my first big chop this was big chop number three for me but we're not gonna go into too much details on that if you want to really know my reasons on why I decided to big chop for the new year you can check out that video I'll have the link down below and also up above for you guys to click this one I kind of wanted to give I guess a more detailed video on how I achieve my slicked waves you know Jada Pickett look you know I've gotten a couple of ladies who kind of reach out and ask me what exactly am I doing on my hair and so for this video I'm pretty much doing those same steps but I'm doing all my hair being a little bit longer so you can kind of see what it takes and how much gel it takes to really style this stuff so right now my hair is like completely dry i start on wet hair so have a spray bottle wet ready because it, it's going to be a lot easier for you to do this style with your hair being soaked and wet it's probably best for you to try to do this when you're on your wash day fresh out the shower and you jump right into trying to style your hair because um trying to do this on dry hair is just it's going to be a little bit more difficult to manage so without further ado we're going to go ahead and jump in um i changed up my eco styling chills because i told you you're going to need a lot okay so wow. just go ahead and get prepared to use a lot of gel when you want to do this look so this is the eco styler olive oil shea butter black castor oil and flaxseed i don't think i've used this exact one, I've used the olive oil, the coconut oil, and the other many different gels that Eco Styler does, um, does uh, make and provide. Um, so this one is gonna be my first time using this actual one. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this crap up. Can't even open it. It's so huge. All right, so that's what it looks like. And it's nice and gold and shimmery. And it, that was really good. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever had an Eagle Styler gel that like really caught my nose. Like most of them is just, I mean, it's gel. I don't usually like go crazy over it, but it really smells good. Must be that castor oil and that shea butter in there doing that, you know. <laughs> but the tools you will need, you will need a rat tail comb. I have a brush, I have a hard brush. Pay no attention, my brush is not clean, okay? Don't don't judge me. And I have a soft brush to kind of help around my edges. The hard brush just kind of help that back part lay down. And then I have a rat tail comb. You also need a rat tail comb and a pick to go ahead and pick your hair out because I find that it is a lot easier for me to do my slick back look when my hair has already been picked out. I have a um edge brush on the side just in case we may need that as well so i'm gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna grab my bottle of water we are going to saturate the hair in water because like i said it's best to do the style with your hair being soaking wet i 
And when I say your hair needs to be saturated, like just empty out the whole water bottle. Just, I mean, just empty it all up. Just put it all up in here, fit it all up here somehow. My hair is short and I'm pretty short. It's still gonna take this whole entire water bottle to saturate my hair the way I want it. Like, it needs to start dripping down my face. That's how I know, okay, it's nice and wet now. It's nice and wet. Go ahead and get you a towel ready. Well, I like to do a side part, so I'm gonna go in and do one. I think I kinda wanna do a funky one. We're gonna do a curve instead of just a straight back one. You know, just, just to make, just spice it up a little bit, you know? My hair is dripping. You know what that means? My hair is nice and wet. Oh, wait, it's getting in my eye, hold on. Oh, oh. So I'm gonna now go ahead and start brushing my hair in the directions that I want it to go. And if you come across some dry spots that you didn't get with the spray bottle, just add some more, add some more up in there. So don't be shy with the water or the gel. Don't be shy with it because like I said, we're gonna need a lot of this to achieve what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and take my ring off because I don't want that gunkiness on my, my, my wedding ring. So go ahead and swoop swoop me up let's just go ahead okay so that's how much i'm initially applying and i'm pretty sure we're gonna add like three more of those handfuls okay a lot of gel okay don't be shy with the gel okay if you think you used too much you didn't you need to add some more okay let's just go ahead and let you know the second handful okay bam right there you see them Little flyaways up there trying to poke out. Uh uh, we're not having that. We're gonna lay them mm, down. Bam, press it in there so it gets in all of that. All of that right there. Yeah, get it. I'm gonna go in with my fingertips now because you know, sometimes the palms don't be getting all of what you needed to get. You know, saturate, saturate with gel. You see all that? Right there, now the kitchen be, be the hardest part to lay down, ladies. That kitchen, you know? So you gotta pay special close attention to the kitchen back there. Because it be just doing its own little thing, and you know, behind your back, and you don't know it. So make sure you pay close attention to that. Hold on, hold on, let me. Ooh, bam. Yeah, your head should sound like some macaroni and cheese is being mixed right now. You are on the right track, okay? You are on the right track, all right? So I'm take this off. Now I'm gonna go in with my hard brush just to make sure all that gel has been pressed where it needs to be to lay this head down, okay? A lot of gel, all right? Now we are pretty much distributing the gel, making sure that gel goes to all corners of the earth, okay? And by earth, I mean our head, okay? Just press all that in there, right? Just like that. It's gonna take a little muscle right here because we wanna make sure we get all them kinks to lay where they need to be, all right? Especially right here at the top. This part always gives me the hardest. And if you feel like the brush ain't really cutting it, go in with your fine tooth comb. That'll definitely plow through all them kinks up there. See all that kick back in there? That's all good. That means we put enough in there. That's exactly what that means. We got enough in there. Now the style, the finger wave part that I like to do in the front, I'm gonna go in with my rat tail because we need to pay special close attention to detail in this part. And then we'll come back to those sides. Don't worry about worry about those. You know, we're gonna come back to them. We're not finished yet, but I want to go ahead and style the front of my hair. And you see, like, I, and that, that's what I mean by my little curl. I always have like this one that just don't want to damn listen. That one right there, you see, I got a couple of them. And it's always my edges. And that's because my hair, you know, with having 4A, four, four 4B four hair, my hair doesn't actually start curling until it grows out some. So it grows out straight. And then once it's gotten a little length on it, it decides, oh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and curl. I'm gonna go ahead and curl, stop messing with you. Until then, I gotta deal with this half, I wanna curl, I don't wanna curl hair, and that's what we got right now going on, okay? And as you can see, as soon as I touched it, it came right on up. Just said, nah, we, we good, sis. We, we just gonna do our own thing. And if you still have this problem, get you some edge control. Cause this is a little bit thicker than the Eco Styler. 
and it'll definitely lay these these bad boys down especially them hard-headed ones these are these are my hard-headed ones okay you know with your hard-headed kids you got to go in with different methods for them to, to do what they supposed to same thing same same thing you know same concept so don't 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 feel like oh uh, you know it's just not working they go no 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 you got to be persistent same thing with your edges honey you just gotta let them know don't play with me okay we here to slay today we ain't about to be acting up go in over here and like i said make sure that hair is nice and wet because the wetter it is it is a whole lot easier to manage and then i haven't done the slick down in a couple of weeks so my hair ain't really trained right now it's kind of just been doing whatever it won't because I, I just don't you know so sometimes i'm, I'm just tired y'all i'm tired And with the soft brush at this point, and that also helps with smoothing it down. And it's always, it's always an edge that give me a hard time. I promise you it is. It's always an edge. Alright, so I invested in a do-rag. So now I have a do-rag instead of my silk wrap that I was using in the last video. And I went and tried the velvet. I went and bought a velvet one. And to be honest, I, I think I'm okay with the classic do-rags. This one was cute. It's cute to take some pictures in and you know I'll be like ooh ooh um, you know do rag waves on swim but um but um for the sake of the gram I'm sorry for the sake of the gram I went out and bought a, a velvet one but I, I I don't particularly care for it oh so, now I'm gonna go ahead and put, you know I gotta do all this special stuff now oh, okay. you know what I'm saying it's something simple I got time to be playing with a do rag come on now. I like the stretchiness of it, but um, yeah, I think I'm all right with a classic durag. I'm good. I'm gonna let y'all y'all have this. And I'm just pulling it taut back here to make sure it's not like a gap between the durag and my hair because that can damage a true um true waiver it can really it can really do some damage back there if you don't have that laid to get the slickness that you need okay you know for safety measures because I'm going to bed and I'm, I'm just a heavy sleeper when it comes to you know I, I enjoy my sleep I go in with a stocking cap too just to make sure that bad boy ain't going nowhere we are now ready for bed now you're probably wondering why I pushed this band back all the way back here because I don't like waking up and having that line across my forehead so I push it back right here so it's it's not too detrimental to to my, to my face because when you get older your collagen and skin just ain't what it used to be and that la that line will last till lunchtime and we just we don't need those problems okay we we don't we don't need those problems this all I used was my eco um my edge booster and my eco styler and some water and several brushes and combs just to get my hair to lay down even you can see that i still had areas that wanted to you know poke out and show out and, and didn't want to listen since my hair is longer it is a lot harder for me to get what i need to lay down so that's kind of why i wanted to come on here and show y'all with my hair being I probably got about two inches of growth at this point. Maybe maybe pushing three. Now compared to when I first did this style, when I was fresh from the barber, probably had my hair cut for maybe two or three weeks. My edges and everything has grown out. The only thing I've been doing lately is just cleaning up the back and that's just, you know, lining it and fading it um, uh, to my liking. Um, but for the most part, all this up here has been growing and doing its own thing. my ways and this is pretty much what my ways are looking like after i have slept on them with the velvet durag and i'm gonna say that i think i prefer the the classic durag or just a regular silk wrap like it is laid it does look good but it doesn't it doesn't have the hold that I want and it could have been that gel because this was my first time using the gel I feel like the velvet do-rag kind of picked up uh, soaked up a lot of my hair products so like you can like see 
all of the hair product that it kind of soaked up in there. This is the side where my hair would have met with the fabric. So, and then this is the, the other side where the velvet is. Another problem that I kind of ran into with using the velvet do-rag was it kept kind of slipping and sliding. Like I kept feeling it like moving back or tugging in other areas. Like it didn't really just stay put and I had a wave cap on it to kind of help with that because like I said I am a heavy sleeper and when I wore my silk wrap I didn't have those problems like once it was on it wasn't shifting it wasn't moving so just go ahead and finish stalling my edges the way I want because I already know they're going to give me problems throughout the day if you can't see like how loose it is right there My edge booster is definitely giving me the hold that I like. And there we have it. This is what the back is looking like. We are done.